up guys, Beer God Bros here, Phil. I am Andrew. Okay, just uh, coming at you live from Toronto quarantine. We review beer. Currently we're sticking with uh, Canadian craft beer and later on online we will hope to venture out into other things. Go international baby. On today's type of beer that we're going to be reviewing is lagers. Okay. I hate lagers. Yeah. So we'll be the judge lagers. of this. Lagers. I hate what? lagers. So he hates the drink. Personally, my favorite, my go-to, uh, it's a lot of frat parties, you know, that's how it's done. Definitely look like a fuckboy. Yeah, where do you stand on this? Not a big fan, no but, uh, I like to, I like to keep my mind open, though. Okay. The first beer that we're going to be reviewing today is, uh, Big Rock Brewery's Craft Lager. Lager. Yeah. Now, no crazy name. Nothing. Nothing is crazy about it. Okay, so I chose this because the brewery is actually like really close to our apartment. Percentage wise, four point six percent. So it's like pretty light. Like that's. Uh, I heard the IBU is like fifteen, sixteen. It is should it? actually say here sixteen. Yeah, it's very small. Oh yeah, it's sixteen it says on the can. Yeah, yeah. sixteen. Jeez. And yeah, the can gives you an idea about what it's gonna be mostly, so you can. Yeah, it's like a graph even. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, so not any of the other beers we've reviewed have had graphs, so yeah, probably someone who knows how to use, uh, I don't know, Photoshop. It, no, this is probably like, like, like Microsoft, PowerPoint presentation, Microsoft Paint, data visualization software. Yeah, I think in between like three to four dollars, kind of range. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. between like one to twenty. Yeah. <laughs> so talking about can design. Pretty basic. It's got three yeah. colors. Okay, four mm -hmm. if you include that striper right at the bottom. Yeah. So these guys might just be about business and the business's taste. You know, it is basic, yeah. but it, it, it's kind of cool. Yeah. You know, like it gives me, it, it emits confidence mm -hmm. in, in the its, product. In its can design. You know? See how you guys put I, it? I don't know how to pour a lager. I just think I'm used to shot there. There. Is there. Is there. Don't, don't, don't you have to like poke it in the bottom and then like flip it upside down? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got like the man. color. Or, that, I got the best one. Oh yeah. shit! Did oh, I? My oh my god! The tables have turned. Wow, it's been a while yeah, since we've seen one of these from you. I follow my gut feeling. <laughs> this is like super see-through, eh? No, so it looks like apple juice. Yeah, it looks really cool. Like I, I like this. This is a pretty classic lager color. This is what yeah. you kind of want to see. Nice. So and let's give a smell first. Yeah, like a dehydrated piss. It does smell like a dehydrated piss. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I got foam in my nose. It smells pretty good. It, yeah, oh, it smells like a lager. I don't know. This I don't get that much of a smell. It smells like it's, it's very water. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. beery water. Yeah. Watery beer. Watery beer. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Pretty light. Tastes good. Goes down smooth. Yeah. Almost like a Molson Canadian kind of vibe. I feel so. If, yeah. if a, I feel like if a bartender gave this to me, I would have the impression that they put some like water in my beer. You think so? Yeah. It's a bit too... It's it's light. I like it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I like easily drinkable beer. Yeah. This is something that would... It was uh, spring coming up. Like, like this is... Yeah. A, yeah. This is a, summertime this is a thing. pretty summertime thing. Like... Uh, I could definitely see myself drinking this, maybe like I said at a concert menu or something. Like yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But uh, overall, barbecue. where where would you see yourself drinking it, Phil? For me, barbecue. That's a good answer for me. If I if we had a barbecue, if we were able to have a barbecue in this apartment, yeah, I'd be <laughs> grabbing a pack of these guys. <laughs> yeah, you know? it, yeah, it's pretty good. I uh, I don't really like lagers, 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 mm -hmm. however you want to pronounce it. Um, but this is pretty good. I I would see myself drinking this at a barbecue. I've already down a few pretty decent gulps of this, and I could see myself easily finishing this before we're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, yeah, Everybody. festivals, uh, mm -hmm. any like outside event where the sun is shining. Mm -hmm. You know, when it's when the sun is up and the weather is nice. There's no clouds in the sky. I'm outside. I'm drinking this. Yeah. When it's nighttime, I'm switching off to. The, darker things. That being said, I don't know how many festivals would actually carry this. Yeah. yeah. Is Molson Canadian a lager? What's Molson Canadian? 
Uh, it's the white cans with the b- white uh, red maple. Beer. That I'm not 100 sure. I believe it is. Yeah, it tastes really similar. Like, Might be, yeah. Yeah. So saying they pull the plankton on. I think they Mr. Krabs right there. They stole their formula. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember <laughs> the formula. All right, so what I remember from the website is that it says it's not like it's not a hop bomb, mm-hmm. which means like what they're trying to say, like we didn't like bombard this drink with hops. Yeah. I said exactly the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's, it's not. Switch, it's switch not what they said it was. Right? <laughs> it's not a hot bomb. <laughs> no, it's not a hot bomb. It's basically what they're trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, how many do you see yourself drinking? Um, uh, do like three, three of these coffee a day. Mm. Go home to my loved ones afterwards. Six which is, which is us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. For me, I'd, I'd get a six pack of these. This is like a summer two for kind of thing. Yeah. The only thing, and I'll save this for my, my overall kind of review, um, I'll, I'll get to it. Okay. We are in the overall review. Okay. I mean, like the end <laughs> of my review. Okay. But I'll just leave it at I could probably drink a two for this style of beer pretty easily. Like, oh not, not in a day, but you know, like. Over a couple day kind of weekend cottage thing, like yeah, a summer think. party. Like this is something you'd buy for a weekend. Like you slap yeah. a two four in your truck and you're yeah. good for the entire weekend. Okay. I feel like the summer hijinks we're going to be getting into will probably involve a couple yeah. of these. Yeah, most yeah. of And so yeah, out of uh, hold, hold on on, on, on the flavor side, uh, it says here on the little graph that it's closer to malt rather than hops. Yeah. So which basically means that uh, they did not. Bomb this with hops. With hops. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, out of one out of ten, how would you rate it, Phil? I'll give it a seven. seven. I'm happy with it. Like yeah. it's nothing like wow, this is amazing. Uh, but it's good. Yeah, it's really good. I'd have a few of them. For me, I would give it probably like a seven point five seven. Like it, it's good, um, and I, I do like it. And that's saying a lot for me for lagers because I don't really think they really qualify. As too much of a beer, I find that they're oftentimes too light and flavorless. Like they don't really offer much, and that's why I, I said a, a two four in my previous thing. Is because if you're gonna go with this, you know this is anywhere from like three to four dollars per tall per, per tall can. You just get a two four Molson Canadian, mm-hmm. and you're good, right? And that's cheaper, yeah, mm-hmm. right. It's like there's, you know, I don't really see the purpose to a, just a more expensive Molson Canadian, which is kind of what this boils down to. Ah. I'll give it a solid seven, and that's high for me considering it's a Lager, uh, Los Angeles Lagers. That okay. Lager, gold like the Lagers. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would give it a seven. Uh, nothing crazy, nothing. But I wouldn't slap the person that gave it to me. You know, it's not bad. I wouldn't be born baby. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad. Basically, I wouldn't leave the party if somebody gave it to me. <laughs> leave the party. Why would you, you, why you, know? why would you <laughs> give this to me? <laughs> so I think we're all on the same page. Yeah, yeah. for sure. There's not much else to talk about. Give yeah. it a shot. It speaks for itself. Yeah. <laughs> Canadian, if you like Lagers, go cough it. Right. Next, next beer. beer. All right, guys. We're now in the next beer. And uh, without further ado, I ain't got this one. Yeah, and I'm wearing my bomber jacket. Yeah. Why is that? Explain. Because Please do. Bomber jackets, according to my knowledge from secondary sources, uh, were used by, are used by pilots, and this is a first class craft lager. So it's an aircraft craft beer. The middle chair is reserved. This guy is brewed and packaged in Barrie, Ontario. The can, how do you feel about the can? Sign looks cool. Yeah. yeah. Interesting uh, conversational piece. Yeah, there's some, what's this thing called? Statistics. Oh, those are like, oh, not statistics. Like, oh, like idiot. speedometers or whatever. It's like, oh, really like yeah. oh. <laughs> those things are like speedometers or whatever, but what's really cool about it is you've got like your ABV, which is like the alcohol percentage, your IBU, which is like, you know, the fucking, the bitterness. And it has the SRM, which is like color, some sort of spectrum color. on how like the fucking crap brewers classify the color. Yeah. Apparently, this one's not even like on the spectrum because there's no color on the dial. Oh, so, uh, percentage. <coughs> we don't know if we said that. Four point six percent. Yeah. Any logger will break the bank, really. 
No, lagers are good. You don't. Oh, know. you can already see that it's like. Oh my god! I got a loss awesome of color. I got a drink from the top of the can. I was not expecting this color, guys. Uh, I <laughs> fuck. Oh my god, you're a fucking. We had our first spill. Of the sh- we had our first spill of the show. How are you pouring it out sideways, dude? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with that? That's how you pour a lager. Uh, yeah, it's pretty opaque. Can't really see through it. Uh, I was thinking it'd be lighter in color or more translucent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially since we got like this SRM stuff that says it's basically water. Yeah. I mean, you're just lying to me right now. This is not that color. I kind of get a little more fruitier. Yeah, it's definitely smoke. more fruity than the last uh, lager. So so to get a good pour of lager, Beyonce, you have to fuck up, up your pour <laughs> of lager. In terms of the taste, sorry. Yeah. Taste? Yeah. Taste decent. Tastes, um, decent. I think Big Rock was a little better. Big Rock was better. This one has more bite. Yeah. Uh, it's not a big deal to me. I feel like they both are quite similar. This one has more bite, though. I agree with that. Just like Bark's Root Beer. Where do you see yourself drinking this? I don't know. I, once again, I'm not really a lager fan. Um, so, But I could see myself maybe drinking this at like a... In your nightmares? <laughs> Top me down to a table and waterboard me with water. <laughs> this is like something I'd probably pick up from the liquor store and then be like, when I get to the barbecue, realize that it's not going to be a good fit. And then like, you know, I'll drink them. But I'm like, now I'm stuck with like four of these beers and I'm going to have to drink them. Okay. I'm going to say this feels like a very forgetful beer. Oh. I feel like I'll drink it and I'll be like, forget about it. I don't like I, like I said I, I probably drink two of them yeah uh, I don't know where I would drink them man same thing mm-hmm. as you it's like it doesn't really seem like there's a situation for it it's kind of like oh there's beer in the fridge there's too much of a bite for it to be like a chugger like you're not yeah. gonna chug this at like a frat party yeah and it's like not lagery enough for like a summer vibe yeah you know it's like almost like an IPA it's like a lager wearing IPA's clothes so that was my main issue with like Cans, right? Whenever I buy beer with a fancy can, I always feel like there there might be, com- you know, overcompensating mm-hmm. for the lack of uniqueness. I think that was kind of proven with the last can. You know, like last can, it was very it's basic, pretty, but it was a great lager. Yeah, yeah, they were trying to show off. I, I would honestly, what you said, hits it on the nose. I would forget this beer if it wasn't for the can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I would forget it. Like, it's like a summer fling. Like, just yeah. there for a few days, for a few hours. It's definitely that... wiped like, out of my memory. It's definitely that, like, when you order a taster flight, and then you pick up that least favorite beer of yours, and you're like, I'm not going to get that one again. Yeah. You know? It's like, it was okay, but it yeah. definitely is not as good as the other ones. It doesn't so, taste bad. Yeah. It's just not, like, memorable. How many would I drink of these? Yeah. Two at most three... You know, I think I could see myself playing some beer pong with this, but like, yeah. it's yeah, a good yeah. beer pong beer because it's it doesn't taste so amazing. So you're actually trying to win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would probably drink maybe two of these, but uh, I would, you know, after two of them, I'd probably be like wanting to go back to something like the Big Rock. You yeah, know? I'd want to go back to that like easier kind of drink. That's why I'm drinking a lager. Yeah. I want it to be yeah. easy, right? Yeah. I don't want to be like getting through hops right yeah fair enough but uh, i also read that uh on a sports magazine okay that hops are better for you yeah so helps you burn fat so summer's around the corner maybe Go it's a good way. choice i would not drink more than two yeah two for you as well yeah. two is a stretch two this... if i'm really trying to spend time there uh out of, one out of ten I'll yeah. give this a six. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Six. Six is easy. Six, six, six. Yeah. It's Satan. If you're Christian, maybe don't drink this one. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all I really have to say. Yeah. About. I don't know. Next beer. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, we're two beers in. Two beers in Ion. Two beers in Ion. Uh, and yeah, we just cleansed our palette with yeah. some decaf coffee. Uh, he doesn't drink coffee. Uh, anyways, let, without further ado, Let's start the third beer. So what do we have here? This is a Waterloo Craft Lager. Now, the story of how I got this was uh, my girlfriend currently resides in Waterloo. uh, And we were going to a house party, a birthday party. And I figured, you know what? This might be something we'll review down the road. So I'll pick it up. It's a craft lager and it was cheap. It was $2.50. 
definitely on the cheap side. So it's, it's definitely a budget beer. Show off the can, yeah, a bit. Yeah, there's a pork on the can. There is a pork. So this so is a boar. This is a, everything that a Muslim can't do. Basically. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> they're really trying to limit the target market for this, huh? It was, of course, brewed in Waterloo, Ontario. Mm -hmm. uh, but since 1984, we've been pouring passion into every batch we brew without exception. Join us in celebration by raising a glass of Waterloo Craft Lager and toasting to our humble beginnings as Ontario's first craft brewery. Mm -hmm. So cheers to 35 years. Uh, this cheers is apparently, uh, you know, what the oldest Say it. craft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is apparently the oldest craft brewery in Ontario. What? Yeah, yeah first craft brewery in Ontario made this. Remarkable. They've been pouring the bore since 84, is what it says on the can. Uh, which, by the way, uh, the percentage is 4.8% alcohol. The design is actually, it, it, it doesn't look awful. It's electrifying. Yeah, yeah. Intermediate can design. It's not, it doesn't slap, it's not basic, it's just meh. And meh can be okay. They yeah. write, if pouring the bore since 84. Yeah. And four score. Of that joke must have thought of that years in advance. Three yeah. score and five four. years ago. This guy four was like, we're not going to make and these pouring the bore in yeah. 84. He's like, we're not going to make this can until the year 84. Yeah. <laughs> we need to make sure that this is. All right. Sitting with Matt Geniuses over here. For anybody who doesn't know, there are two universities that actually reside in Waterloo. So I feel like this might have been crafted with the frat boys in mind. Ooh. I don't think Waterloo people oh, do shit. frat parties. Yeah, okay. Two business studying, man. Ian, you're on a roll here. Keep going. Keep going. Ian, you got this. Ian, let's I? go. You got two for three today? Should I give out stouts and get into Lagers? That's it. Let's oh, go. wow. That's a little thick. Tick. Jesus, <laughs> girl. What are you doing? You're playing God right now. Andrew's also high. In this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you haven't noticed by yet, dude, this guy got 115 grams of weed. The guy's fucking El Chapo over here, and I'm, and I'm feeling a bit concerned. Snowy Chapo sitting right next to me, and I'm super concerned right now. <laughs> it's the tattoos, alright? Yeah. I like to do oh, weed. Kind of I like to do weed. <laughs> And I hope it's like my mom says, I, 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 dabble, I dabble in I dabble in alcohol. I hope by this time of this episode my mom has tuned out already so I can finally <laughs> say it. <laughs> so the design is good, let's do the smell here. It smells it smells good, I think. It smells decent, it smells pretty good. I like it the most out of the, the three you've tried, to be honest. Really? It, it it doesn't hit me. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm not getting anything. Yeah. I'm getting that, that beery water again. But yeah, like it's something that I, I, I it's like assume it's is It's like coming. a shittier version of the first one. It's like the first one, but less effective. Yeah. It's watered down version of it. It's the like, first. you know in Pokemon where you have like the it's super effective? Yeah. This is like the it has no effect. <laughs> yeah. Let's cheers. Cheers. All the fallen soldiers. Oh, hey. <laughs> Every time, guys. We're not going to cheers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <we're sitting laughs> <on. laughs> Expecting much worse for this price point. Uh, yeah. In, in pretty my watery. Opinion. Yeah, pretty watery, pretty smooth, pretty which is watery. good for me. I don't know, 4 percent kind of takes me by surprise now that I've had it. Yeah. I mean, like, I've had it in the can several times, uh -huh. and every single time I had it in the can, it really made me regret my purchase. Having it in a glass, though, it yeah. doesn't taste nearly as bad as I thought it would. Yeah. I mean, at first, it, it's like that smell kind of transfers into the taste. So this can actually be a nice topic of discussion, right? So some of the beers, we drink it off the glass, some of them, it, it might taste different than a can, you know? Okay. So, if, so if it's not doing it for you, switch to the glass. For reviewing purposes, our standard is in the glass. Yeah. And that's, we are aware that some of the beers you have to drink it in. On the, the go, at the party standing up, not gonna have glasses. For sure. Or in other kind of glasses, you know, maybe not necessarily like this, but more like, you know, short ones yeah. and whatnot. Naturally, we are aware. We are aware those things fucking exist, okay? But we own a budget over here. Times are hard, we are quarantined. Our money <laughs> is... Quarantined. Who is your pricing manager? Quarantined. 
we don't have budget, anymore. we don't know our future, we don't know our spendings, we can't splurge on fucking beer bottles, okay? Yeah, I think it's pretty good for the price point. Now, where would you drink this? Uh, I definitely drink this plain beer pump. It's a smooth pour, easy to finish. I would drink this like the first one on a festival when the sun is up. Pool party, just, you know, barbecue. If I'm with white people, then it's a picnic. Yeah. Where would I drink it? Yeah. That's what we're discussing. I think, okay, yeah. I think there's one one way I would want to drink this beer. Hey, uh, Phil. Do, uh, do you want to race? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got nothing but time. <laughs> Phil got it. Alright, that's how I see myself <laughs> drinking this beer. Yeah. To be quite honest. Oh, that's a big man burp. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, cut it down, man. <laughs> I gotta edit this shit. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. 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 How many of these you see yourself drinking? Like the first one, three. Uh, for me, I'd, I'd say like four, depending on how sick the party is. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I don't know. Like, if, if we're playing beer ball, like pretty hardcore, like a tournament or something, and, and it's going down, yeah, maybe six, but like four, four to six range. Well, I keep going back to that that big rock, you know, the big rock lager. Yeah, I just see myself drinking more of those. I, I'd say it's a seven. Tastes good. Uh, I I can play drinking games with it. That's a big plus for me, especially for lagers. Yeah. yeah, and uh, in terms of like the lagers I love, for me it's the European ones, but this is all right, man. Yeah. It's looking crazy. I would put it on the same ballpark as the first one we had, Big yeah. Rock, but this is probably more affordable. Yeah. And if it's going to give me the same performance for a cheaper price, I'm going to go with this. So I gave that one a 7. I'm going to give this one a 7.1. Oh, yeah. wow. You're like that old lady in fucking Price Jeffrey. is Right. Who right <laughs> just fucks over everyone else. Yeah, I think scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it like a 6.57. You know, it's not awful. Uh, it's as awful as I thought it would be. It actually goes down pretty smooth in like a drinking game kind of context. Mm -hmm. But know, honestly, like, when we just raced that, I was the whole time I was like, this isn't bad. <laughs> I'd be down to race it again, you know? No problem. I could literally do another one right now, but. Yeah. Like, and I, I probably wouldn't shock in it though. I would chug it, but not shock in it. It's 6.57. So, the champion of the day? Or we have a fourth one? Well, I, I say the champion of the day is Big Rock. Yeah. For me. Big Rock slapped. For me, it's this one Waterloo Craft. For real. Because it's cheaper. I'm on, I'm on Big Rock. We're right here. Here we are. We're right there. Alright, okay. I'm on Big Rock. I'm on that Big Rock uh, head train. Okay, yeah. you get that rooster. Big Cock, Big Rock. That's it. I'm going. I'm going full Christian. I'm getting this Waterloo. Yeah. It's cheaper probably. So he's got a couple of. Squeezers. I really didn't anticipate the Waterloo actually putting up as much of a fight as it did. <laughs> Maybe I just really fucking hate lagers and just. Wrote that it could off. be it. When you try some good ones though. Maybe in a glass. That's well, it. that's all the beers we have for today. Uh, follow us on social media. We have an Instagram page. We're gonna be posting promo photos there, like we always do. Yeah. We're under quarantine. That's hence the pajama party. Pajama, yeah. And you know, yes. practice uh, safe social distancing. You know, yeah. stay healthy. Yeah. If you don't gotta go out, don't go out. Oh, listen, man. Fucking St. Patrick's Day. Fucking pubs are canceled. Yo, it's, it's St. Patty's right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Happy St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's, 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 Patty's Day. Uh, By this time this airs, it will probably be yeah. fucking May. It'll be like April. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll be April Fools. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we don't know, but. From what we can say, listen to the authorities. So yeah. Stay blessed. Hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment on what you want us to try next. Uh, we already have our next episode kind of ready to go. But by the time the comments come out, maybe you guys can uh, swerve us into a different direction. Thank you.